This is my most recommended handheld, and I'm going to show it to you today. Are you ready? All right, here it is. <laughs> Hey there, how you doing? I'm TechTweeb, welcome, thanks for clicking on the video today. All the time I get people begging me to tell them which retro handheld they should get. People messaging me here on YouTube, or X, or Facebook, or Instagram, or in my Discord server, or sending me handwritten letters, but also people like out in the real world. People I know, people I, I meet, random people in the grocery store, all the time coming up to me and begging me, just tell me what to buy, tech dweeb. And my answer is always the same. Quit pulling on my shirt. And the best part about this hobby is that there's so many choices, so many great ways to game, so many devices, and each one does something a little different. So you should do some research, watch all the awesome tech tweet videos that you can watch for free right now here on YouTube, and decide for yourself which one is right for you. However, I get it. It's a big topic and there's lots to learn and most people really don't want to try to figure out all the little ins and outs and bits and bobs of every little retro thingy and just freaking pick one to buy. And I'm the same way about most things. If I need a new like coffee maker, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole and research which ones are good and make which kind of coffee, which ones have this or that thing that coffee nerds like or hate. I just want to know which one is the one that is good. And retro handhelds are the same as coffee makers. In, in this regard, at least. Retro nerds like us like to dork out about which ones can do which things, but most people don't want to get into the weeds. They just want to know. What is a good one? Your first retro handheld, which is the one that you should buy. There is one device that I do feel super confident in recommending. It's an amazing device, one of my most played devices ever, and I'm quite sure that anyone who gets one of these will be happy with it. My most recommended handheld. What is it for crying out loud? Well, Oh, hey, real quick, have I showed you my new Minecraft Steve? It's like a little, a little tech tweet version. This is actually the bee suit Steve, but I thought it sort of looked like my stripy shirt and- ah! All right, fine. It's the Mew Mini Plus. Of course it's the Mew Mini Plus. Everyone loves the Mew Mini Plus, and there are a ton of reasons why I recommend this thing over and over more than any other device. For the vast majority of people, this is it. This is the one. This is the, the one that does everything that you need, with the one with the best retro vibes. This thing it can do so much, and it's so fun and cool and neat, and it's just so much better than the competition in so many ways. And it's because it's so fun and easy to use that it's a perfect choice to recommend to anyone who's getting started with with retro emulation because the experience of using this thing is going to be fun rather than frustrating. And it has some advanced stuff you could do with it if you want to get into tinkering and doing extra stuff if you're into that. And that, that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, before we get too deep, real quick, just to avoid any confusion, the Mew Mini Plus is the big version of the Mew Mini. The original Mew Mini is a little guy. I personally love it to bits, but lots of people find it too small. The Mew Mini Plus is a bit bigger, bigger screen, more comfortable to hold, and it has Wi-Fi so you can get access to download software updates and log in to retro achievements, among other things. You can't do that in the non plus, just so we're clear. Also, real quick, I wanted to mention that the, this Mew Mini Plus was kindly provided to me by Lit NXT. They sell a ton of handhelds, including the Mew Mini Plus, and they have a bundle where you can get it pre-installed with Onion OS and loaded with games. And it is an amazing build that they have there. More on that in a bit. Check out the link in the description below if you want to pick one up. Actually, that's a good segue into the first reason that the Mew Mini Plus is my most recommended handheld. The price. If you use the code on LitNXT, you can get this for just 62 bucks. That's for the base version, but you'll probably want an SD card with that. So if you're going to go for this, I recommend just getting the version with the 128 gigabyte Onion OS SD card, and that comes to 90 bucks with the coupon. But even if you go for the base and you just want to set it up yourself, this 60-ish bucks is a super low cost of entry considering the quality of the experience that you'll get here. I'm always wary whenever I suggest a thing because I don't want to tell you something's good and have you spend your hard-earned monies on it and then be upset that you got this thing and it's not good. But here, I'm confident that if I tell someone that the Mew Mini Plus is good, and they go buy it, that they will be happy with what they got for the price. Lots of these devices are like, eh, maybe, not worth it, maybe it is. But the Mi Mini Plus is like, yeah, 
totally worth it. The form factor is another big part of what sets the Mi Mini Plus apart from other devices. It's the perfect middle ground between comfort and pocketability. It's small and slim and light enough to carry around with you, and the fact that it doesn't have any protruding buttons or grips or humps means that it slides in and out of your pocket so darn easy. See, check it out. I'm gonna just slide it in and slide it out, and then slide it in again and slide it out again. Slide it in, slide it out. And at this point, you're wondering why you're watching this video. Well, you're not alone. And it's probably not a good time to ask you to subscribe. So I, I, won't, I won't do that. However, d despite the fact that there were some compromises made to make it pocket friendly, it's still super comfortable in the hands. They put a lot of thought into the distribution of weight and the placement and shape of the shoulder buttons. The spacing of the controls is just right to make it feel compact yet comfortable. And if you're the kind of dweeb who just wants something bigger with curves to squeeze, I actually really like the grip that you can get for this thing. It makes it really comfy for longer game sessions. I don't leave it on, I just grab it when I want to spend some quality couch time with my Miu Mini Plus. There's a link below if you want to pick one up. And next up we have the screen. It's a great screen. It's 3.5 inches. It's bright and clear, super crisp, great viewing angles. And because it's 640 by 480 resolution, that means that we get all the best integer scaling options for the vast majority of retro systems. Check out this video link below if you want to know why that's important. Everyone I show this to comments on how nice the screen is. For, for us retro gaming enthusiasts, it's pretty common to have devices at this size and shape have great screens. But if you've never had a retro handheld before, I can promise that the screen on the Mi Mini Plus is going to impress you. But by far, the best thing about the Mi Mini Plus is the system. The stock system is good. It works. It comes with games. It comes with the, all the options that you need. It's kind of bare bones, but it works. It'll get you by. However, when it comes to these small pocket-friendly retro handhelds, there is only one system that holds the keys to my heart. Onion OS. And we get that here on the Miu Mini Plus. The reason that Onion OS is so great is because the system is attractive and fun to use with all the tools at your fingertips to do some more advanced stuff if you want to, but the basic bones of the operating system is designed to make it fun to browse your games, quick to get into your games, and convenient to get out of your games, switch games, turn off your device and automatically save your game, and then load it right back up when you power it back on. It really is the most convenient way to game on a portable, pocket-friendly handheld. Onion OS is easy to install and set up yourself. You could totally do that on your own, add your own games, and you'll be good to go. But since we're talking about a handheld that I recommend, which should ideally come ready to use in the best way right out of the box, I gotta mention that my favorite build of Onion OS is the one that comes pre-installed on the Mi Mini Plus from Lit NXT. That's the one that I personally use and I, the one that I like to recommend because it comes all set up for you. I have a video giving you a tour of this setup. I'll drop a link in the thingy below. I like it because it has perfect ROM sets. Everything the Mi Mini Plus can run, it has all the ROMs for those systems except for DS and PS1, although it has a ton of games for those systems. The ROM sets are clean and complete without any junk ROMs, and they went the extra mile to include ROM hacks and translations. For PS1, they managed to fit a ton of games on here, including the higher end stuff and the multi-disc games, and they scraped all the art, so it's fun to browse through your collection looking at screenshots. And they added a ton of extra stuff, uh, like the Nintendo DS emulator and ports. <laughs> so many ports on here. And it comes all set up and ready to rock. There's a lot of love and care put into this build, and I, I wanted to explain why I love it so much instead of just telling you just to get it because it really is a special thing that they've made here. But if you're into tinkering, you can totally set all this up yourself on any SD card. And there's even more advanced things you can do with the Miu Mini Plus, like multiplayer games and trading Pokemon and stuff that I don't have time to get into in this video. But that's another thing about the Miu Mini Plus that's great. It's easy to use, but there's lots of potential to learn how to do new things with it when you get the tinker lust. Oh, and before you ask, yes, the TechDweeb Onion OS theme does come preloaded with Onion OS, so you can rock your TechDweeb love right out of the box. 
And real quick, just for completeness, I want to go over the kinds of games that you can play on here. The Mi Mini Plus isn't a beast, but I don't think most people need it to be at this price. If you're looking to play all the older stuff like Atari, Arcade, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, then the Mi Mini Plus has you covered. Even the older computer systems like Amiga and DOS, Commodore 64, the Mi Mini Plus is like a little Swiss Army knife of emulation because it can do so much and it can ride around with you in your pocket. And it can handle some higher end stuff. It can, it can play PS1 no problem. And because this is a 640x480 screen, PS1 games just feel right at home here. And we also get Nintendo DS. You can enable the touch controls with a hotkey and swap the screen mode. To be honest, it's not really all that enjoyable to play most DS games without an actual touchscreen, but it's fine for lots of games, I guess. And you get Wi-Fi on the Mi Mini Plus, so you can do retro achievements and add a new layer to the games that you love. Which brings me to my final reason that I suggest the Mi Mini Plus so often, the nostalgia. This thing just has all the retro vibes that you want. All of them. I mean, just look at it. It looks like an old Game Boy, and I love that. It comes in other colors, but I just love the Game Boy flavor so much. They freaking nailed the nostalgia on this thing. Everything about the Mi Mini Plus puts the games themselves in the forefront. No mucking about needed. Everything just works great as it should. And it's a no-fuss portal to the carefree days of yore. Taking you back to the days when little you was sitting on your parents' carpet, eating Dunkaroos and playing Earthworm Jim on a Saturday morning. Carpet Dunkaroos and Saturday morning not included. The Mi Mini Plus isn't going to be for everyone. It doesn't do anything beyond PS1 emulation. It doesn't have video out or Bluetooth. It doesn't have analog sticks. But all of those things probably don't matter to most people. Not on a pocket device. Not at this price. It's sort of like the, the Mi Mini Plus gives you everything that you need and nothing you, you don't, you know? Yeah, yeah you do. If you want to pick up a Mi Mini Plus from Lit NXT, make sure you use the link below and make sure you use that coupon code to get 10% off. If you want to know more about the Mi Mini Plus, check out my other videos, also linked below. If you want to build a pillow fort, you should, and invite me over and we'll play our Mi Minis in it together, and I'll kick your butt at Blades of Steel. And that's it from me. I'm TechDweeb, thanks for watching. Bye bye.